Hotep Boo, and welcome to this brief podcast on how to determine the true cardinal directions. True north, true east, true west, and true south. The technique is very simple. Turn your gaze to the north and look for Polaris. Now we called Polaris in ancient Egypt the eye of Neter, the eye of the creator. And it was found not in Ursa Minor, the little bear, or the small dipper, but we call this constellation the jackal stars. And the front paw of the jackal guarded the eye of the creator, or Polaris. Now, if you imagine, for example, you took a stick and placed it on the center of your head, and you're standing straight up, then you lean forward about 23 degrees from vertical. The stick on your head will point to a certain point in the sky, a particular zone in the sky. That would be the North Pole Star, because in this example you are the Earth, the stick is the axis of the Earth, the center of its rotation, and where that axis points becomes the North Pole Star for that generation. The Earth does not stand straight up and down. It tilts and leans 23.5 degrees off from vertical. So during our era, the Earth's axis, the stick on its head, so to speak, is pointing towards Polaris. And all other stars revolve around that hub. So the North Pole star of your generation is how you find true north. Now once you have true north it's very easy to determine the other three directions and their true positions. If the horizon is seen as a circle that begins at the zero ground point of Polaris, the eye of the Supreme Being, drop a line from Polaris down to the horizon and you can build a monument right there above which directly stands the eye of Neter, Polaris. That's the marker of true north. Then you make a right angle going to the left to find true west. So 90 degrees to the left of Polaris you put another marker. That's true west. Conversely, if you're going 90 degrees to the right of Polaris, you build a marker there. That's true east. And if you were to build a marker directly behind you, which is 180 degrees opposite Polaris, there you have a marker for true south. So, to review, find the North Pole star, drop a thread or a line from that star to the horizon, build a monument there, a marker. Then build one at a right angle to that to the left, that's true west, at a right angle to the right, that's true east, and opposite that angle, that's true south. And now you have the true directions. These directions are very important to the blacks of Egypt. In fact, they built the Great Pyramid of Giza aligned with the North Pole Star of the time of its being built. And the northern entrance of the Great Pyramid, which leads down to the lower chamber, is angled exactly at the highest point of the North Pole Star at that time called the culmination of the North Pole Star. So they could pull in what we call the Spirit Serpent. The Chi of the North Pole Star was funneled into this chamber and gathered in the chamber to allow the initiates to bathe and to swim in that Chi, to commune and to focus the starry voodoo, the starry Chi of the North Pole Star. So these true cardinal directions have a lot of power. We call these channels of energy, where you drop a star from the sky to a marker on the earth, 
and then from there to a monument somewhere else in the country. We call these channels or these threads of energy weaving sky and earth, earth and sky, the Bayuari and the Anu. Do see the YouTube video I have called the Bayuali and Yenu to learn more about this. It's a very important principle for Egyptian shamanic astronomy because the gay shaman is able to summon the energies from those gates, from the North Pole gate, in this case the Eye of Nater Polaris, and can funnel it through a marker into a monument, into a temple, for the priestcraft to use to open that spiritual gate in the hearts and souls of the people and of the land to keep all things in balance. So this is the easy way to find the true directions if you're sailing on a boat, if you're walking in the deserts, if you're walking in a forest. You now know the trick to knowing true directions. Find North Pole Star, drop a line, measure 90 degrees left or right to get true east or west, or 180 to get true south, and you're on your way. May this teaching be with you for eternity. Dwawen Hotepu.